Hi, good morning, everybody. Um, just in church, gonna get the morning devotional done so we can upload it and out to you. It's uh, after church on Sunday, but you'll hopefully see this tomorrow morning. It says this in John, um, excuse me, Mark's Gospel, chapter 10, verse 22. It says, Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him. And he said, One thing you lack, go your way, sell whatever you have, give it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Interesting circumstance here in story. This rich young ruler go comes up to Jesus and he says, Jesus, what can I do that I might get eternal life? And Jesus basically gives him the Ten Commandments. And then um, he's doing that to reveal something to him. Because <clears throat> the... After Jesus said, "You know the commandments," he goes, "You know your, you know the Bible. You're, you're a young ruler. You're, a, you're, you're a Jewish man. You've been brought up in the, in the right faith." And he goes, "And but here's the young ruler's problem." He goes, "Well, I've done all those things. I've honored my mother and father. I, I haven't killed. I, I don't steal. I, I haven't done any of that." But Jesus revealed his heart. He said, "One thing you lack." Take what you have, give it to the poor, you'll have treasure in heaven, come and follow me. It's not that Jesus isn't telling him, if you give to the poor, you'll go to heaven. What he's telling him is, what about the first of the commandments? What about loving God? He goes, you forgot those because you love your position and your power and your money more than you love me. And Jesus was doing that to reveal his heart. But it said, Jesus beholding him loved him. He loved him. Even though the man was an idolater. Even though he loved his position and power and his money more than he loved God, Jesus still tried to reach him. Some traditions tell us that that rich young ruler might have been the Apostle Paul who gets saved later on after Jesus' resurrection down the road. Very interesting. We're not sure on that. But either way, look at the heart of Christ. It said, even though this man was an idolater, even though he just wanted, he said, Lord, just, just tell me how I can have eternal life and, I, and I'll do whatever it takes. But he really didn't want God. And Jesus said, you know the commandments? Go and do them because I, I, I did all those. And Jesus said, no, you're an idolater. You love your stuff. You, you've used the religion of Judaism to gather up power and position and money. And he goes, well, why don't you give that away? And if you really want me, come and follow me. And Jesus beholding him loved him. Just like Jesus beholding the multitudes loves them. Just like Jesus beholds you and he loves you. And the message for me and you is because we have eternal life, we should want to give, give ourselves and give our stuff away sometimes. Not because we're going to earn it, but because we have eternal life and we have Jesus. We want to give away what he's given to us because of his love. For us. God bless you.